In this video, we're going to do some questions with the product rule and quotient rule. So the first one, we have e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. Let's remind you of the quotient rule. If we have a function h of x, which is equal to f over g, then h prime of x is going to be f prime g minus fg prime all over g squared. Okay. So in our first example, we have our e to the x, which is our f, and our one minus e to the x, which is our g. So when we take the derivative of f prime of x here, we're going to get, so the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x times one minus e to the x. Then we subtract, well, we have e to the x and the derivative of one minus e to the x is just negative e to the x. And this is all over one minus e to the x squared. So if we simplify, this is just going to be e to the x minus e to the two x. So e to the x times negative e to the x is just e to the negative two x. Then we subtract e to the x times negative e to the x. So we just add e to the two x. And of course this is all over one minus e to the x squared, which if we simplify, we can take out the e to the two x. So we're left with e to the x over one minus e to the x squared. I don't need to expand this because I'm not gonna be able to simplify this any further. Okay, that's the first question. Second question, we have x over x plus c to the x. So I wanna simplify this a little bit, make this look a little bit nicer to work with. This will be x plus cx to the negative one. Again, let's use the quotient rule. So g prime of x is going to be the derivative of x, which is one times the bottom, which is just x plus cx to the negative one. Then we subtract the top, which is x times the derivative of the bottom, which will be one plus negative one cx to the negative two. And this is all over the bottom squared. So it'll be x plus cx to the negative one squared. Okay, we can simplify this a little bit. So this will be x plus cx to the negative one minus x, and then we subtract negative one cx to the negative two. So we're adding x c times x to the negative two, which is really just cx to the negative one. And this is all over x plus cx to the negative one squared and our cx to the negative ones are going to add together, but our x's will cancel. So we're gonna get two times cx to the negative one over x plus cx to the negative one squared. Okay, at this point, it becomes a bit of a pain to simplify any further, so I won't bother expanding it out. Uh, but if it does simplify somewhere, probably not necessary to go further than this. Okay. Third question, let's use the product rule. H of x is equal to x4 e to the x. I wanna find the first derivative and the second derivative. So h prime of x, well, we gotta use the product rule here. So of course, if we have h is equal to fg, then h prime is going to be f prime g plus fg prime. Okay, so first we take the derivative of x to the four which is four x cubed times e to the x. And then we add x to the four times the derivative of e to the x, which is just e to the x. So we can take some things out, I guess. So we're gonna get e to the x multiplied by four x cubed plus x to the four. Okay, so now we can take the second derivative, h double prime of x, First, we take the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. We multiply it by four x cubed plus x to the four. Then we add e to the x multiplied by the derivative of four x cubed plus x to the four, which is going to be 12 x squared plus four x cubed. Okay. So at this point we can simplify further. Do we really need to? Well, I guess we could. So we could take out an e to the x here, and then we'd be left with 
4x cubed plus x to the 4 plus 12x squared plus 4x cubed. And then we can put the 4x cubes together to make 8x cubed, I guess. But that's the second derivative. So as you can see, we can keep going and going and going. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.